Hello everybody, welcome back to DD74. DD74 will be basic, it will be easy, a little bit longer, but it's actually a very serious subject that nobody talks about. It's a sad subject, but it's serious, and we need to think about it. But DD73, much uh, lighter, much happier. Before I give you the answers, listen one more time to DD73. I've accomplished more in my life than I ever thought possible. Okay, great job, everybody. The difficult section was right in here. This was tough for lots of people. Let's go back to the answers. I've accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. I've accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. All right, let's practice. I've up. Now, in this situation, the V sound connects. So we really hear, I've, I've, I've accomplished, and the accent, accomplished, t. Gotta have this, because I have. I have accomplished, no, accomplishment, no, accomplished, t. We need a past tense verb, a past participle, we need the ed. I've accomplished, I have accomplished more. But so many students did not hear the D. Why? There's a reason. We have three strong sounds in English. The S, the N, and the L are very strong sounds. The weak sounds are the D, the T, and the TH. So these sounds cancel these sounds. Okay? These sounds are strong. If there's a D or a T next, to it, it, it can be canceled. So it's not just the N. The N has three similar sounds. N is the N. 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 The M sound. And N. N. The NG sound. So here we have an M, which is a strong sound. And a D, but actually a T. Accomplished. Accomplished. And what happens is this M cancels the T. So if I say it slowly, accomplished more, accomplished more. But when I say it normally, accomplished more, accomplished more, accomplished more. And the faster I say it, accomplished more, accomplished more. You don't hear the T sound. The faster we say it, there's no T. How do I know? The grammar, the situation. Because of the word have, we must have an ED. And it's there. It's very difficult. I've accomplished more in. Once again, connect the sound. More in my life. I've accomplished more in my life. I've accomplished more in my life. Than. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We get the word more, usually we'll have the word than. A lot of students wrote that. That I, that I know, than I, than I. If you listen carefully, the N connects. Than I've ever, than I've ever. And once again, this V can connect. Than I have ever, than I've ever, than I've ever, than I've ever thought possible. Than I've ever thought possible. Possible and possible, possible. Okay? So I'll say it again. I've accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. I've accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. And if you listen carefully, the man says, I've accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. So he actually pauses right here. Then I've, then I've, ever thought possible. So we don't say, then I've, no, then I, we hit the V and then we stop. Then I've ever thought possible. 
than I've ever thought possible. I've accomplished more in my life. Accomplished T Mont Bagel, or get rid of the T, accomplished more in my life. Accomplished stop more in my life. Accomplished more in my life. Accomplished more in my life than I've ever thought possible. This guy's lucky. So he is saying, I have so many accomplishments. I am so proud about my life. Wow, that's pretty cool. I hope that you are proud of your accomplishments. Remember, if you have many small accomplishments and a few big, I mean, many small goals and a few big goals, just focus on the small goals. And if you accomplish the small goals, the big goals become easier. So concentrate on the little things. Get the little things done first, and then the big things will come slowly but surely. Just like English. Take each lesson at a time, one step at a time. Easy, intermediate, advanced, expert. Don't worry, just try one step at a time. And if you keep practicing, eventually it'll get easy. It'll get much more easier for you, okay? All right, now there's a couple things I want to do. We were saying go hand in hand. I'm going to talk about that after we listen to this dialogue one more time. Then we'll talk about going hand in hand. A lot of great expressions, okay? I've accomplished more in my life than I ever thought possible. I've accomplished more in my life than I ever thought possible. Okay, in the last lesson, we learned a great expression. A and B go hand in hand. They're a perfect combination. They go together very well. And you guys gave some great examples. First, we have TMA Cruel, and he said, Learning and entertainment go hand in hand in Coach Shane's lessons. Yay! Learning and entertainment. There's an expression, education and entertainment. Edutainment. Yes, I, I try a little bit of edutainment. Thank you. The Ado had several, but I like this one, coffee and dates. Here's a date. Coffee and dates. Hmm. Go hand in hand. I have never had coffee and dates. I'll give it a try. Should it be dried dates? I'm wondering. It sounds like a good combination. I'll give it a try. Atona also was talking about coffee. Atona said black coffee and chocolate. Yes. That's a popular combination. Black coffee and chocolate go hand in hand. Then we had five semela. Coffee and cigarettes go hand in hand. Yes, I, I also am a smoker. I'm not proud, but I agree. Coffee and cigarettes go hand in hand. We need to quit. Then Sangu said, Shane and learning English go hand in hand. Yes, I totally agree. Shane and English go hand in hand. <laughs> okay, Pediatric Surf said rainy days and reading go hand in hand. Oh, that's, that's nice. Rainy days and reading go hand in hand. Great combination. Chang Y.S. Chang or Chang, I wonder. Chang Y.S. says Ooh, tomatoes and beef go hand in hand. Mmm, sounds delicious. I like tomatoes, especially cooked tomatoes and beef. Ooh, good combination. Good Bell says chicken and beer go hand in hand. Yes! In South Korea, chicken and beer is really popular. Fried chicken and draft beer. Oh, delicious combination. Jibling, J-I-B-L-Y-G, says, A cross and garlic go hand in hand. 
A cross and garlic. Yes, you need this if Dracula is chasing you. So if you're worried about Dracula, definitely a cross and garlic go hand in hand. Crimpy Crimp says, Heinz ketchup and anything go hand in hand. So ketchup, Heinz ketchup and, wait, wait. I have Heinz ketchup. All right, so Crimpy Crimp says, Heinz ketchup, this is Heinz ketchup, I'm almost out, and anything. Well, how about a Coca-Cola bottle? This is a, a candy. This is uh, like a gummy bear, but it's uh, it tastes like Coca-Cola. It's really delicious. So, Heinz ketchup and anything go hand in hand. Well, let's try. So, here's my Coca-Cola bottle and my Heinz ketchup. Let's try it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, crimpy crimp. I like Heinz ketchup. And I like Coca-Cola bottles. But Heinz ketchup and Coca-Cola bottles do not go hand in hand. I'm sorry, you're wrong. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, Santa Raisin, last one, Santa Raisin says, Santa raisin, so Christmas, oh, Christmas and sugar cookies go hand in hand. Mm, a delicious combination. Thank you for all the replies. Now, let me finish my Heinz ketchup and Coca-Cola bottle, and then we'll move on to DD74, which is serious. So, I'll be back in a second. Oh. Okay, my mouth is now clean. Now, DD74 is about a serious subject. Have you heard of diamond, diamonds, blood diamonds, or conflict diamonds? Basically, what that means is uh, they mine diamonds, especially in Africa, especially in the Congo, and they, they mine diamonds and they sell the diamonds and the money they receive pays for war. It's pretty crazy, but it's very common. It is the way of business in the Congo. But it's not just diamonds. There's another mineral called coltan, coltan, and coltan can be found in most electronics, like your PS2, your cell phone, there might be coltan in this remote control, there might be coltan in the camera that I'm using, I don't know, but coltan is very common in modern digital electronics. So in the Congo, there are other countries that are, that are coming into the Congo to try to get control of the minerals. The Congo in Africa is very rich in minerals. They have oil, they have diamonds, they have cobalt, they have coltran, they have many minerals. And war is expensive. So to pay for the war, the guns and the bullets, they force people to mine these minerals. Then they sell the minerals to America and to Europe and Asia, other countries, and they take that money and they buy more guns and more bombs. And who does the mining? Half of the people who mine are children, eight years old, nine years old, ten years old, and these children mine with their hands. Here's some pictures. Here's a boy who's 
hammering into a wall of dirt. They put the dirt into a bucket. Then they put water into the bucket. And then they squeeze the combination of water and dirt. And they squeeze it looking for the tiny black stones, which is coltan. Then they collect the coltan in this other bucket and they give it to their boss. And their boss is usually a military person. And he takes those stones and they sell them to other electronics companies and stuff like that. In the last 12 years, 7 million people have died. 7 million miners have died. Half of those people are children. So the cell phones we use, the games, the electronics that we use, a lot of that electronic technology comes from the hands of children. And many of those children are now dead. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. This story is not on the news. If you watch CNN, it's not on CNN. If you watch BBC, it's not on the BBC. But it's real. It's not a joke. It's real. If you look for it online, you can find the stories. It's a tragedy. So what can we do? Don't buy cell phones. No, we, we, we use our cell phones. We use our computers. We need them. But what you can do is slow down when you upgrade. So I, I, have a, I had an old cell phone. This is my old cell phone. It was okay. It was very inexpensive. I used this cell phone for four years. I used it for four years and finally it didn't work. It, it just broke. So the, the light, the, the panel wouldn't come on. So, so I had to get rid of it. Then I bought my new cell phone. I believe me, I wanted to buy a cell phone before, but I said, no, let's wait. Let's, let's use this cell phone until it's dead, and then I'll buy a new one. That's probably the best way to, for you to help these children. The children in the Congo, it's so sad. They need to resolve the problems. Something needs to be done and I don't have a solution. I don't know what to do. I know it should not be with military. I don't think the military needs to be involved. But anyway, this is a tragedy. This is serious. And it's something that we need to think about because we're lucky. We have computers. We use the internet. Did you know in the Congo, how many people have the internet? One in ten. No. One in ten thousand people. Only one person out of ten thousand people in the Congo have the internet. Yeah. So you and I, we are so lucky. So because we're so lucky, we're so privileged, we should do something for the children. I don't care about the guys who are shooting and killing. They can kill themselves. I don't care about that. But for the children, for the good people, especially the children, we've got to do something. So I don't know. My recommendation, tell your friends. And just say, you don't have to be, oh, don't, buy cell don't do that. Just say, hey, don't buy the new cell phone yet. Why don't you wait? You should brag. You should say, my cell phone is four years old. 
Okay, everybody said, I have the new cell phone. I have the new cell phone. Oh man, you're killing children. I'm going to wait until my cell phone is broken. Then I'll buy a new cell phone. That's my recommendation. I love electronics. I love new computers and, and digital cameras and cell phones. It's all cool. But we need to slow down. The demand will continue to grow, but we need to start somewhere. So let's start with ourselves and slow down. So if you want to buy a new cell phone, great. But can you wait a little bit? And write to the company. Write to your government leaders. Tell them, I don't want conflict coltan. I don't want blood coltan. I don't want blood on my cell phone. Those are strong words, but it's really important. I think it's, for me, I think it's important. I know I'm lucky. Man, and I don't have a lot of things, but I know I'm luckier than those children. So let's, let's do something. So here's a sentence. It's a long sentence, but it's actually very easy. So I want you to do the dictation, and I'm sorry, I know it should be fun, English should be fun, but it's serious too. So think about it. Do the dictation. I'll say hello to the new subscribers at the end of dictation, and I'll see you next lesson. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and smile. We're lucky, so be happy that we're lucky. Five point four million children, children who are eight, nine, and ten years of age, who are using are being used to mine with their bare hands, so you can text and play Angry Birds. Five point four million children, children who are eight, nine, and ten years of age who are, using, are being used to mine with their bare hands so you can text and play Angry Birds. 5.4 million children, children who are 8, 9, and 10 years of age, who are, using, are being used to mine with their bare hands so you can text and play Angry Birds. 5.4 million children, children who are 8, 9, and 10 years of age, who are, using, are being used to mine with their bare hands so you can text and play Angry Birds. All right, we have eight new subscribers for uh, today's lesson, so let me say hello to Bikash6551. Bikash, it says you're from the U.S. And I know you've been watching my videos for a while. Thank you very much for subscribing. How do I pronounce this? My gustel pico. My gustel pico. From Chile. I had a friend a long time ago from Chile. His name was Sergio Perez. He was a great guy, and he was very proud about Chile. One day, maybe, I can go to Chile. Thank you very much for joining my channel. Gracias. Now, we've got a couple of people from Korea. God damns it. Yes, if God is not happy, he will damn it. <laughs> okay, God damns it from Seoul, South Korea. Thank you. Pangap Sumida. Also from South Korea, Davin PP. Davin PP. Pangap Sumida. And Toic LC. The Toic Test Listening Comprehension. This guy is from South Korea. His name is Pak Changi. Pak Changi Sonseng Nim. He's a teacher and I know him. He's a fantastic Toic teacher. So, especially if you are a Korean student studying the TOEIC exam, visit his channel, TOEIC 
LC is his channel, and he's got a couple lessons. So watch it and ask Pak Changi something name for more videos. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for joining uh, something name. Okay, from Argentina, we have Damien2766 from Argentina, also very close to Chile. Gracias. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Sapporo, Japan. Ah, F Nagai. F Nagai. Tomoregato kojaimasu. Thank you very much for joining my channel. And from the US, but this name I think is Korean. Go Jong Chul. Go Jong Chul. Pangap up. Thank you all for joining my channel. And please tell your friends. And if you have a special request, please let me know. Give me a link to the video, and I'll watch it, and I'll choose a section. Remember, it can't be too long. The shorter the video, the better. But if it's native English quality, it doesn't matter if it's American. It could be British or Irish. I don't care. Then I might use it. So thank you very much to everybody. And remember, ketchup and Coca-Cola bottles do not go hand in hand.